Good morning and welcome to Cindy's Kitchen. We are so glad that you are here. So today on Cindy's Kitchen, we're making Crescent Apple Dumplings because it is National Apple Dumpling Day. Did you know that? National Apple Dumpling Day, who would have thought? And then we just made this not very long ago when we did the pinwheels or the roll up episode, but we're doing the apple cinnamon sugar ones because, oh my, oh my. Coffee clinks to you, Joanne. Hello, Ruth from Virginia. I don't think I've ever been to Virginia either. I don't think I have. All right, so let's get started, shall we? Yay, apple dumpling. When I saw that it was National Apple Dumpling Day, the only thing I could think of when I, you know, that popped into my head was that, um, I think it was a Disney show, The Apple Dumpling Gang. Did anybody ever watch The Apple Dumpling Gang? There you go. That's what I was thinking of. Okay, now I have an apple. It doesn't matter what kind of apple you have. I'm using this as my trash bowl. It doesn't really matter what kind of apple you have, but I would suggest that it be a sweet apple and not necessarily a tart apple. Gail, good morning from sunny and cool Chicago land. Well, that's good to know because I think you guys have been saying it was all rainy and icky. So that's a good thing. Hey, Pam, good morning. We're just peeling an apple, a sweet apple. I can't remember, I think this is a gala. Could be a Red Delicious, I can't remember. So, love whatever. Well, we've already done it once, Deb. So this is kind of a repeat, but it's what I was hungry for. And you know, you guys are kind of at my mercy because it's what I have in the house or what's inexpensive or um, what I'm hungry for. So there you go. Last week was icky there, I know. All right, now we're gonna cut the recipe says to cut your apple into eight pieces. Is it eight pieces? Fuji oh, they're Fuji apples. Fuji apples. That's what they are. Anyway, it says to, um, where am I? Place in as, examine the, hold on. Cinnamon, wait. Oh, eight slices. I couldn't find where it was. Eight. That being said, I suppose we could do it that way. But you know how I cut apples. I cut one side, you can't see the apple, can you? I'm gonna do it down just a little bit. One side, then I do the other side, and then I do these two. Wow, these have a little, these are a little brown inside. I wonder why. Look, kind of brown, kind of icky. Ugh, it'll be fine. All right, so if, if, if I have these two, then I'll cut these two, three, I'll just do these in half and in half. Although, we won't need those. We could eat those. Yum. I'm going to eat those. Okay. So, there we go. I may take... There we go. All right. I'll put these aside. We'll eat these. 66 degrees and sunny in Michigan. Wow, I'm a little jealous. All right. So, we have our apples. I'm going to set these aside. Now, if you remember the last time we did this, I took out my crescent dough way too early. Then it was hard to cut. So, I left it in the refrigerator until right now. So, for this recipe, we're actually going to be using um, the crescents with the triangles, not the sheets, the crescent rolls with the triangles. You don't have to buy, okay, this is the actual name brand. This is the, you know, the little doughboy kind. You don't have to. You can buy store-bought brand. Really, I'm all about saving you money, and I know that sometimes we get a little yah-yah about, you know, brands and, and all of that. Quite frankly, a lot of times the brand name is just as, I mean, the, the store-bought brand is just as good as the other. So, you know, if you need to save money, don't think that you always have to, um, to get the brand name. Okay, now, so then we have to separate. We separate the triangles, and it's better this time because I left them in the refrigerator so long, so they're... They're easier, they don't stretch. If you leave these out, like you say, oh, I'm gonna get all my ingredients out. If you leave them out for too long, then they're hard to work with. I don't know why I'm in the dough. I know why, but there you go. How's everybody doing today? Are we doing okay? I have to tell you, you can tell me. Um, okay, now we got them out. And now we're going to, sometimes the store brand is even made by the name brand. Yes, if you go to Costco or Sam's, you can tell who makes what. So if you go to Costco and you get the Kirkland 
brand detergent that's orange, it's made by Tide. If you get something that's blue, it's made by All. I mean, you know, it's just, you can tell. All right, so now, I'm not gonna make this, but if you don't have a sugar bowl full of cinnamon sugar, how do you live? I don't understand how you make your cinnamon toast, but that being said, I keep a bowl. This is, so the, the mixture is three tablespoons of granulated sugar to one teaspoon of cinnamon. And you guys know that my favorite, that my friend Joanne turned me on to, is this Saigon cinnamon. You can see it's from Sam's, I mean uh, Costco. Ground Saigon cinnamon, just a huge deal. So, taking your cinnamon sugar mixture, we're gonna put, we're gonna sprinkle it on each one. And don't worry if you get it like everywhere, because we're gonna use our finger to spread it out. So just make sure, you know, you got enough on there where you can use your fingers um, to spread it out. I'm afraid of those things exploding. Well, remember when I used one the other day, oh no, no, that was on our 150th show, and she did that, Jessica did the popper behind me, and I knew she was gonna do it, but I still went, I shrieked like a little, like a little girl, right? All right, now, take your finger, doesn't matter which one, and then just kind of rub that cinnamon and sugar all up and down your triangle. Anyway, I was gonna tell you um, about how we are, because some of you know that um, I teach a Bible study on, on Facebook Live, not on this channel, but on, the, on a different channel, and, um, and it's about the, the 12 apostles and um, the history of them and how they lived and how they died and all that. Anyway, and I've had a lot of fun teaching that class. I really, it's hard doing a Facebook Live teaching a Bible study because you can't see people's faces. And so sometimes I might say something that people don't understand. And if you're in class, you can go, okay, wait, you guys are making faces. Maybe I should explain that. Okay, now let's take our apples. Take your apple, fat side, okay? See the fat side? I'm gonna tilt this down, can you see? All right, so we're gonna take our apple on the fat side and we're gonna roll, okay? Rollin', rollin', rollin'. Get those apples rollin', raw hide. Okay, pie plate. Here's the deal. I'm gonna spray just because I know that all of you will need to spray, okay? Spray your pie plate. This is a 10 inch pie plate. This original recipe called for a nine inch pie plate, but I don't have a nine inch pie plate. I have a seven inch, but that would be way too small. So that being said, I'm using a 10, so it'll be a little bigger. They won't be as tight in there. Once you roll it up, you see where the bottom is? Make sure that is down, because you don't want it to, to you know flip up, all right? So then we just have to do the rest. All right, so I'm telling you about my day. So I teach that Bible study on Wednesday nights which is fine, um, I mean, it's all good and well. The problem I'm having is, um, is switching from back and forth, right? So yesterday morning, we did a cooking show and um, we made a yummy, oh my gosh, yummy, yummy, um, chicken soup, chicken noodle soup. And it did help me, it did help me. Okay, and we're rolling. Um, you know what, go ahead and tuck your ends. Tuck your ends in, just like that. You don't have to be perfect about this, don't worry. Um, anyway, so I did the, did the cooking show in the morning, and then I had to get ready and, and really talk about, you know, the Bible study stuff, which doesn't sound like a big issue, except it's almost like, thank you, Joanne, I'm glad you like the class. Um, it's hard to switch right? Going from cinnamon and sugar to Judas Iscariot. <laughs> so it's a little funky weird. Anyway, all right, I'm almost done. I'm trying to work and chitty chat, although you know that I have a difficult time keeping my, keeping my concentration, right? Okay, two to go. Two to go. Okay, we have a lot of new folks. You guys that are new, tell us your name and tell us where you're from so that we can welcome you. We wanna welcome you into our kicking community. All right? We're not gonna hunt you down or do anything. I think these will be, it is, okay, well, Tana, this one and the other one are my happy place too. It really is. Okay, tuck my ends, tuck my ends. There we go. Okay, 
Look at that, all the way around. So there's really nothing in my middle. <laughs> there's a lot in my middle, but not on this. And that's okay. If we had extra, if you, you know, you could probably, if you used a bigger pan, you could do two and just go on this, okay? Melissa from Oklahoma. Melissa, where in Oklahoma do you live? I went to high school in Enid. All right, I'm gonna put this in the oven. 375, and in we go. Now, we have to make the custard that we're gonna put on this. I've been needing to tuck my rear in for a while. I know, tuck in your rear. All right. Um, I'm going to move this just to here, and we need a bowl, because now, Weatherford, oh, I know where that is, so I lived in Enid, I lived in Tulsa, and I went to under, I went to um, uh, NEO in Miami, and then I went to undergrad and law school at OU, so I've been all over Oklahoma, so nice to see you, Melissa, and welcome. Joey, Joe, okay, Joe, Joe from Toledo, good to see you, Joe from Toledo, okay, now. We got that in the oven. We've taken our crescent dough, the triangles. We've cut up an apple into eights. We took the, the we, cinnamon and sugar inside. We rubbed that on, put the apple, rolled them up, tucked in our ends, put it in a pie plate and stuck it in the oven. Needs to be in there for about 10 minutes. Then we're gonna take it out and pour this custard on it. I look happier today. Well, thank you, Lori, I appreciate it. Um, I, I, I'm a little frazzled, but that's okay. All right, so me, let me put this here, and then I'll, because I'll need it again. Medium-sized bowl, okay? So a mob, a medium-sized bowl. All right, and so for this, we're gonna need a half a cup of sugar. Look at this. I don't have, this is the only thing I have in this pattern. There are a few patterns of Polish pottery that are um, unicat, so they're more expensive, and this blue-black is one of them, and I always want one thing, so here's my one thing. There you go. All right, so we need a half a cup of sugar into our bowl, half a cup of sugar. Then we're gonna need a um, half a cup of whipping cream, heavy whipping cream. Don't get all, oh, can I use milk on this? Come on, we're making apple dumplings. Get some cream. Joanne, you are a top fan. I know, I love that pattern too, Laurie. Okay, so half a cup. Half a cup of heavy cream. Look at that. I need a, where is my, hold on, let me get a spatula. Spatula. Because I don't want to lose any of that yummy cream. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, there's our cream. Then we're going to need an egg. Got your egg? Egg. In we go. Put that in the trash bowl. And let's see what else. Oh, here's the big one. You remember this? I'm gonna tilt up just a little bit. We get out our amaretta, yum. Now, those of you who say, oh, I would never put liquor in anything, and that's fine. If you wanna substitute, um, cause it's really, it's, it's a tablespoon. It's not that much. You can substitute almond extract. So if you think that, that you would never do this, or you simply don't have any in the house, um, then you can use a tablespoon of almond extract. So that would be fine. I'm going to be naughty. Naughty, I tell you. Have a little amaretta. Oh, it smells so good. So good. All right, so it does smell of almonds. All right, there we go. A tablespoon of, of amaretta or almond extract. Okay, here we go. We're gonna, actually, I'm not using this. I'm gonna use, you, use a whisk. Okay, this is my Danish batter whisk that Joanne got for me. I have to say thank you to um, Annette. Uh, I don't think Annette's on, but um, she actually lives by me, goes to our church. And the day that I was not on air, Tuesday, um, I know, isn't it good, Lori? Uh, she came by the house and brought me a card and um, a, bot a candle and a bottle of chocolate wine. Has anybody ever heard of chocolate wine? I've never heard of that. Is it good? I haven't popped it yet. I haven't felt good enough to pop a bottle of wine. Has anybody had chocolate wine? I know, it's five o'clock somewhere. Okay, there we go. This is gonna be our custard, and after about 10, 15 minutes, um, or 15 minutes, when they start to brown, I'm gonna take them out and pour this custard over the top of them. All right, we're gonna set this aside until it's time. 
Somebody, hope somebody was timing. You know how bad I am about keeping time. It is yummy. Oh, it reminds you of Kahlua. Huh, that's interesting. Okay, all right, now let's see what we, we're gonna go ahead and start on our next recipe. It's called Cocoa Vine. Oh, I didn't know that. Chocolate wine is red wine and it's excellent. Oh, Annette lives, yes, she lives, well, she drove all the way over here to make the delivery and I looked like dog poo. That's what I look like. And so, you know, like I have no makeup on, my hair, and I'm walking all hunched over and my face is all, hello, can I, I mean, it was awful. I, you know, you never want people to see you that way, but there you go. Okay, let's put our amaretta away, unless we want to put a little in our coffee. Would it go good in the coffee, you think? Mm -hmm. mm. Let's just do that. I know it's not Saturday, and our Saturday show, we usually have an adult beverage, but you know, I used almond, did I use almond? No, I used hazelnut coffee creamer, so I don't know. All right, all right, let's just take a sip. Mmm, yummy, yummy, that is good. I've never had it in coffee. Mmm, okay, maybe we just stop and just drink coffee. No, let's move on to our next recipe. Let's go to the next recipe. That makes me happy. Woo! -hoo. All right, the next is, okay, look like we lost connection there for a second, but we're back. Uh, we're gonna do the apple cinnamon sugar pinwheels. Now, we did this last, uh, like, two weeks ago, maybe. Maybe even a week ago. It wasn't that long, but they are so good. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's the best thing ever. It's, like, one of my faves, and I was really craving it last night and then this morning, so that's why we're gonna make it. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and start. Maybe I don't need this. I don't think I need that. I'm not certain, but I don't think so. We need another apple, okay? Here's another apple. Again, a Fiji. Fiji, let's all go to Fiji. A Fuji, a Fuji apple. I, maybe I just wanna go to Fiji, I don't know. Anybody ever been to Fiji? <gasps> tell me, if you've been to Fiji, tell me what it's like. Is it lovely? Is it wonderful? Are people topless? because I can't go there if that's going on. My, you know, you get to a certain age and nobody needs to see this. I'm just saying, maybe nobody cares. If everybody looks, you know. Lori, you've been there? Oh, I'm jealous. I'm so jealous, I'm jealous, I'm jealous. Okay, peel your apple. Peel your apple. Now, we're gonna take a box grater. And we're gonna stick it, I have to show you this new bowl. Look, 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 look. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? It's like got pink, kind of a pinkish red and green and blue. I think it's very pretty. I don't know what the name of it is, but it's new and it's pretty. All right, box grater, apple. And we're just gonna grate. Grating the apple. Just make sure when you're grating, uh, two things, you wanna make sure that you don't get to the seeds, cause you don't want that. You haven't gotten to the age where you don't care. Well, there you go. Um, and the other thing is, no fingers. Now, I joked about that the other day, about not making sure you don't have parts of your finger. You know, it's not a tablespoon of Cindy's finger. I joked about that, and then I caught myself. And so then we had to have a stop and get a Band-Aid so I wouldn't bleed all over the food. Bad, bad, bad. All right, so. This is just one apple. No, but I wish. Oh, you were talking about the coffee. You were in Fiji several years ago, was on a cruise. Oh, there are cruises to Fiji? I need that, I need that. I, I have to tell you, of everything in the pandemic that makes me sad is that no cruises. That makes me sad. Because, you know, I'm in Houston, but I'm really close to Galveston. And there's um, Royal Caribbean and Carnival, well, and Disney in the, in the winter go out of Galveston. So you can get on a cruise any old time. And, um, okay, now, yeah, yeah, I tell you. Got my hands on, yucky. All right, so I'm just gonna shove just a little bit of lemon juice on here, just that. You don't have to actually, you know, do a lemon um, just for this. And then I'm just gonna give that a toss. It's starting to turn brown already, but you won't care. Once you taste this, you won't care. Okay, now, 
Now we got our next bowl. Look at this one. This is my new bowl too. This is an old pattern called chicory. And Rebecca stopped carrying it. Rebecca at More Polish Pottery stopped carrying it. And then she just got it back in. Chicory. I love chicory. Hey, Judy. Good to see you. Remember, if you're brand new, say hi. We want to say hi to you. Okay. Now, this. Oh, you're just going to die. This is so good. So good. So good. All right. So here's what we need. I'm going to get the crescent sheets out. For this one, instead of the crescents with the triangles, we're gonna get the one that says crescent sheets that comes in a sheet. If your grocery store does not sell the sheets, you can use what we just used and just kind of pinch the, the triangles together uh, or put a little, maybe a little sugar or flour and roll it a little bit so that it's a single sheet for this recipe. But I'm gonna leave it in the refrigerator until I'm done with what we're gonna spread on top. It's so good. All right, so here we go. We, we've got our apple, and we need three tablespoons of whipped cream cheese. So you've got some options. I'm being lazy. Lazy whipped cream cheese. And as you can tell, this is the store bought brand. The store brand. You don't have to buy the store brand. You can buy Philadelphia. Blah blah blah. But they have these containers, and the cream cheese is already whipped. I got that bowl before you the other night. Oh, Lori, I'm sorry. Not. <laughs> I, I really wanted that bowl. All right, now I'm not gonna actually use my measuring things. I'm just gonna use, I'm just, I'm just doing this. Three tablespoons is what we need. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside because Jessica is bringing us, our Jessica is bringing us out of the oven. Look at that. Tilt it up, there we can see. Oh, look, there's my little sous chef doing her thing. Okay, see how they're lightly browned? This is our first recipe, we're going back. Remember we made our custard? Remember we made our custard? Okay, here we go. Get you a ladle. And we're gonna go all the way around on top of those crescents. Now you're gonna look at how much of the sauce, juice, whatever you wanna call it is, and you're gonna say, that's way too much. Look at all of that that's just going in the middle, Cindy. I'm starting to hoard the Polish pottery. No, I'm not. Well, maybe. Anyway, um, I'm in, I have to stand in line and watch Facebook because, you know, I don't live close. Some of you go there. I don't ever get to do that. Okay, so there we go. It's covered. Can you see? I just want to tilt you down just a little bit. So can you see? There's the outside, and then there's the custard that we put on top and all the way around. Oh, so good. Now, we need some almonds. About a half a cup of sliced almonds. I, you've seen this because it's in from my freezer, but I was lucky and these were on, on clearance for $1.79. Woo hoo. I'm always trying to save a little, save a little dough, you know. Okay, so we're gonna sprinkle all the way around. Sprinkle the nuts. Cause I'm a nut. I'm a doggone nut. I don't remember what that's from. What is that from? I'm a nut. You're not, I don't know. Anyway, all right. All the way around, all the way around. Okay, so everybody's got nuts covering them. I know it's so good, Joanne. I'm so excited. Now, take your cinnamon and sugar, because you're gonna have some left over, right? And then we're gonna sprinkle cinnamon and sugar all along the top of everything, of our, of our uh, crescent rolls and our almonds and our custard. Because really, you think of this as a sauce, but remember we put the egg and the heavy whipping cream in there, and so actually, it is more of a custard than it is a sauce. And just because everybody should be happy and pretty, I'm gonna put some in the middle, okay? Look how pretty. Pretty, pretty, very easy. The hardest thing about this one is you have to make the first part, and then you have to put it in the oven, then you have to take it out, and then you have to put it back in. Okay, let's look at our, our custard. Let us look at our custard. Oh. Look at that. Now, if you're concerned that your custard is still a little gooey in the middle, that's fine. I, I can't, if I, if I cut it right now, see how pretty it is? If I cut it right now, it's gonna ooze everywhere. And I need to really let it set for about 10 or 15 minutes and that custard will set up. So um, we're just gonna have to take a, we'll take a picture and let you know how it is. Although I'm gonna get some of the custard out. 
Mm, so hot. Mm, mm. Oh, that custard is so good. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. So I'm sorry that I can't taste the whole thing, but it really needs to set up. And so I'll take a picture so that you've got a picture of what this finished product looks like. And there we go. So I have two, uh, we've made two apple desserts or appetizers or just snacks. I'm thinking snacks. And then you know what I'm making for dinner. And it seems like a lot of you have dinner plans as well. Well, that's it for today. I'm glad you had a good, I hope you had a good time. Mm. So from my kitchen to your kitchen, may your day be filled with thoughts of fall and cool weather, unlike here in Houston where it's hot and humid. I love you guys, and I'm so glad that you're here every day. We will see you tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Don't forget to visit our YouTube channel, follow, subscribe, whatever. And uh, if you're watching later, make sure you type hashtag replay. Good to see you guys. Talk to you tomorrow at 11. Bye-bye.